Thank you for welcoming me into the country. I'm excited to be a U.S. citizen, USA. Cameras were not allowed to film the federal court proceeding today as 97 people pledged their oath to the United States of America. For Sebastian Andaluz from Peru, today has been 23 years in the making. Once I finally was able to get through the whole process, I went through, you know, having an authorization card first just to work. Then I finally was able to get my green card. It all came together at the perfect time. Long time coming, really. Citizenship has caused hardship for Sebastian along the way. I actually had a full ride to go to university at IU, but I found out that I wasn't able to use my scholarships because I wasn't even a resident at the time and public scholarships aren't available for non-citizens. So I had to stay behind. I stayed in my hometown in Fort Wayne and I stayed with my parents. I'm thankful for them because they helped support me. They helped pay for my first year and a half of university. Naturalized citizens now have the chance to vote in the United States elections. New citizens were able to register to vote minutes after earning their citizenship. Ever since high school, I've been very in, involved in like just politics and stuff and just trying to better educate myself on, you know, both parties and understand the systems better. So I've been keeping up to date with this election as well, and I'm really excited to be able to participate now. Congratulations to all the new United States citizens. I'll have more on their journeys and photos from the ceremony on StarCityTV.com. Hannah Grace, Star City News, West Lafayette.